Oh, face first. Whoa. I can do that. Ah. 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 Woo! serious because guess what we're doing today yeah. the best leg day of your life awesome and i'm underway so marshall how's the new meal plan working out it's good it's yeah. good i mean also the extra egg whites is a different experience yeah. but uh uh the fuel feels like it's still there i just don't feel like a lack of energy or anything like that so mm. it's just just a different it's just coming from different directions is all so so when we hit a plateau we alter the meal plan check and then what we have to do is we have to alter our exercise. The reality is when you've lost 100, you're probably gonna be 15 plus, maybe 20 more pounds of muscle. To lean into now starting to add the muscle, having more protein, managing our carbs and fats the way we are, I need to bring a different level of intensity to the workout. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. I know what I wanna talk about today with Chris. Um, I don't really kinda of know where it's gonna go back to memory-wise for me but uh, I know what kind of beliefs I want to break through today. All right, let's uh, get grounded, eyes closed. I asked you on Monday to think of a limiting belief to work on for today. What has come up for you so far? Well, I've been taking on a lot more responsibility at work and uh, I've also been expanding a lot my side hustling, what things I'm doing there. And I've also been expanding um, what I'm doing for my film career. My wife's going to school, which means I need even more support for my family and my kids. And then I'm up-leveling my health journey. And so it almost feels like there's this ticking clock. More, not, not, it, I'm like this inevitability that at some point, it's just gonna all fall apart. Anyone who is genuinely engaged at an aggressive level in the game of growth will feel this way. So if you gotta do it all, then how you do it here determines everything. Close your eyes. First memory comes up when you have the thought, I can't sustain this. Eight or nine years ago, my wife and I have been married for about a year. It was the summer I'm off doing uh, a summer sales gig. My wife uh, got pregnant and we were really excited near the end of the summer, um, had a miscarriage. Oh shoot. And, and immediately it kind of all did come tumbling down. I didn't think I was going to be talking about that experience today with Chris. I definitely knew that was something that has kind of always weighed on me since it happened. That uh, so much, so many things in my life kind of like fell apart around that time, but I didn't expect to go into that subject today. What did you decide about Marshall when you learned about the miscarriage? That I'm powerless, that I can't fix things. And when I think about this, that was like the starting point for the time I've gained like the most weight in my life. So imagine what happens when you crash. And by the way, we are creatures of habit. And if we don't consciously create a better world for ourselves, we will always repeat the old one. Do you lose weight because you put in the effort? Or do you lose weight because you're committed? Second one. The commitment was to put in the work, but the conviction wasn't there. Marshall came in with a high degree of conviction because he saw Casey and Ryan's journey. Paulina, on the other hand, has never had conviction. What she has is commitment. And there's a difference between commitment and conviction. Commitment says, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do something, but I may not mean it all the time. You will eventually crash. So we need an operating system that says, when I experience a setback, instead of being demotivated, I get what? Motivated. You get fired up. So what are you gonna have to believe instead of, I'm powerless, what do you wanna replace that with? The easy answer is powerful. Yes, but let's make it very specific. Yeah. We gotta be very careful with this because I don't want to program when I experience a setback. Yeah. yeah. Rather, it's all results, all outcomes create more motivation. All results, all outcomes create more motivation, more power. What would that outcome be? The outcome no matter what. 
positive or negative, it's just gonna fire me up for the next big thing. Do you feel like right now, you're growing at max capacity? Yes. So what would happen if you had the thought, I'm always pushing for maximum growth, I'm learning, I'm growing, and it produces even more motivation. So I'm always growing at max capacity. I always have more motivation. I always have more to give every day. And that's my question for you is, do you want to become a man who can push on everything important, grow at max capacity, and have it actually be fun and enjoyable? 100%. You ready? Yeah. Close your eyes. We're back nine years ago, summer sales. You and your wife are having a baby. And this is so meaningful to you. And then you find out, miscarriage. Everything comes crashing down. I've learned this about Marshall is that the way he processes grief, it's not quick, it's not rapid, he doesn't suppress it. He'll literally go into just deep sadness. And that first time I hit with that miscarriage, it lasted for years. While grief is a necessary function of, of how you overcome loss, he's highly, currently programmed to be highly susceptible to getting stuck, losing all of his motivation, and he's got to learn a more productive way of managing grief. Who do you want to invite into this memory to give you perspective and to nurture you? It's myself. Uh, I mean, how? How will we do you a year from now? All the weight is gone. You successfully did your fundraiser. Your projects are moving forward. Call that Marshall in. What does that young man need to hear, this young newlywed? That he will have three beautiful children and an incredible, loving and growing marriage. You'll have a beautiful family and you will have them forever. Every outcome fuels him. Every outcome empowers him. He is growing every day. He is stronger every day. Show him the family to be. Show him a growing career. Showing him a healthy body. Show him a bright future. Casey from last season encouraged me to be doing kind of throughout this process, like have a vision for um, who I will be at the end of this year and let that kind of vision be kind of what pushes you through. And I've definitely called on that a few times throughout this journey. What I haven't done until today for the first time is actually speak to that person and let him speak to me. Because it really just made me realize that, that person already exists, he's out there. And uh, that's who I'm gonna be six months from now. And he asks you this question. Should I just drop my motivation and fall apart and start gaining weight in my journey to almost 400 pounds? No. Don't do it. Be more than you are now. Reach him, Marshall. Get up. More. Go to work. More. You're powerful. You're strong. You grow every day. Get up! And speak these words. I have increasing motivation every day. I have increasing motivation every day. I am the king of motivation. I am the king of motivation. I have all the energy I need for all my choices. I have all the energy I need for all my choices. I love my life. I love my life. It's easy to sustain, Marshall. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. This is the way. This is the way. This is my way. This is my way. And I love being this way. And I love being this way. This is how I do life. This is how I do life. I'm always learning. I'm always learning. We're getting results. I'm getting results. We're getting both. Or getting both. I'll breathe it in. Marshall, everything that you're doing in your world right now, hard or easy? Hard. Is it all going to come crashing down? No. Is it too much? No. Is it too much for you? No. No. What's no. the real truth? I can do more every day. Yes. Losing 100 pounds is more about sustained conviction than what you do. And when you're convicted, then you do the do. Okay, what's one thing that gets to change from how you've been with the worry and the doubt and the calling forth this crashing of the house of cards? What are you gonna do different starting today? Anytime I even sense an inkling of that emotion or feeling coming, just close my eyes, center myself. And I want you to practice this at the gym when you do your weights. I want you to go to a full hour on the weights, not looking forward to being done early or ending. I want you to go max. I want you to go hard. You ready? Ready. Let's go. Stand all the way up. There you go. Marshall, these look great. Good, Back good. doesn't look too yeah, extended. Right. It's not bent over. Marshall.
Marshall, what's up, man? Here, come here, this will help you out. Are you ready? I want to show you something. Yeah. Just step over here, face me, and fall backwards. Okay. Snow Angel, go! Make it a good one! Woo. Come on! Woo. Wake that body up! Woo. Get back in here! Uh. <laughs> That's too much fun! Whoever said late day wasn't fun. The snow angel is just a pattern interrupt. We get stuck in our same deep trenched, rooted neural pathways on what we think. And for Marshall, I already know why I invited him on late day. So I get him to do an exercise, I throw him in the snow. He's too busy shocking his body with cold, doing something different. I bring him right back in, do another exercise. I'm always asking, how do I add some novelty to what I'm doing? Which, which means every day there's gotta be a PB. I've got to do something better or different even than just the way I've done it before. That way this is stimulated differently. I'm creating new neural pathways. I'm creating new ways of envisioning, seeing, and proving that I'm capable and successful. And then just find a new path to success. There is no other way to work out than the way Chris had me doing today with snow angels. I was glad that he at least made some other people suffer with me as I went and laid in the snow. I feel cold, tired, out of breath and completely powerful. I would like to get a different daily report from you right now. Okay. And what I want is I want to start seeing your clipboard. Um, every day you're working a muscle group and comparing it to the week before. The goal is every set to beat the previous week's set. And you won't do it, but 80% of the time you should be able to. What I really want to focus on right now is you have the conviction and the motivation. I now want you to channel it and I want you to start imagining that you're a bodybuilder. This is about me helping you transition into permanent lifestyle. I really want you to focus on the intensity of the lifting and say, I'm a bodybuilder. So we're gonna, we're gonna become that. Awesome. Okay, brother, you did a great job. Today. Thank you. Well done. I definitely feel like I grew today um, in breakthrough and in gym. I feel like I, as I've been going through this process, I've been able to kind of go deeper um, and learn more about myself with each and every breakthrough I do with Chris. So I definitely feel like I had a personal best today. Marshall's got 40 pounds to go. I just switched up his diet. I need to check in on his exercise. I'm gonna probably ask him to do some extra bonus exercises with some other people. Certainly a few more with me. Five months to go, 40 pounds, plus putting on all my muscle. We're gonna get there.